What's going on, Doombots? It's time! Tier list! Yeah! Alright, first, we're gonna start with a Marvel Strike Force tier list. And I thought long and hard about what useless information I can impart on the entire community. And we figured it out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna rate characters, right? Based on how good they are in a Greek raid. Just in Greek raids. So this is easy. This is simple. We're gonna pick a Greek raid. We'll do this a couple times and we'll move on. So the first Greek raid uh, should be the Alpha Greek raid. The Alpha has City, Global, Cosmic, and Hybrids. Now, we have the standard tiers. S is great, A is good, B is acceptable, T is trash, and we have sub-tiers, S star, A star. That means that they themselves aren't good, but on whatever team they use, they happen to be good. So, here we go. Let's start right here. This is specifically Alpha Raid. Here, Global, City, Cosmic. And just to let everybody know, when I do these reviews, I don't care about the lowest level, and I rarely care about the highest level. I care about what you can use at every level. So if you're really, really, really good as a starter team in a raid, but as the game goes on, you start to suck, you suck. That said, aim as a team, uh, as a full and entire team for the alpha raids, is uh, decent. Early on, together, pretty decent. Useless character. She's global, She's cosmic and doesn't help anything. Anti-Venom is amazing on his own for City. Ant-Man uh, is not particularly useful at all, even on his team for those nodes. Mordo is a okay character with a specific build. Beast... Global character, decent with the Wakandans and a little bit on his own. Decent, uh, pretty pretty useless in raids, to be fair. I mean, you could use him. He's decent. Garbage, uh, garbage, okay. CM uh, for cosmic lanes early on is okay. Uh, maybe even like with a specific comp, she could be a little bit better. But uh, she doesn't really hold up much weight. As far as global teams are concerned, Colossus is not the one you want to move to. Kind of the same here. You just suck. Uh, you get a little bit more for being shield, and shield does global well. Garbage. Uh, on her team, she's great. On her own, she's not. Cole is fine. Uh, let's see. Cyclops is questionable. Daredevil is acceptable for, uh, City. Yeah, he's not that good. Cyclops is lower. He's not good. Uh, yeah, actually, he's, you're right. He's uh, maybe on his team. He's questionable. This is Dark Phoenix. So Deadpool, he is a global character, but on his own irrelevant doc is awesome on his own as a city character uh dr strange is cosmic not with your dick and someone else pushing sorry domino we're not putting doom anywhere yet uh drax is actually a fine character to build a team around yeah domino's trash ebony maw on Cosmic, he's probably one of the best characters. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Emma for Global is one of the best characters you could have. Falcon is actually just a good character for Global. Uh, Ghost is obviously a good character for Global. Ghost Rider for City is questionably good. 
I don't think he's amazing. I think he's just good. Uh, Graviton's and Scientist Supreme for Global is actually a good two-piece combo. But since they have to be together, they'll stay there. Gamora's shit. Every hand character. You're slightly not sucky. You're slightly not sucky. If Black Widow goes here, so does Hawkeye. If Hulk goes there, Human Torch, I wouldn't touch. Yeah, slight value. Hydra does have some value, uh, but not at the point you'd want to invest in them. On the full team is great. IW is just great. Skip time, though. Did I? Fixed it. Uh, Groot is okay on his own to give death proofs out. Iron Fist, wherever Daredevil is, Iron Fist goes. For City, he's a healer. He's gonna be healing City people, so that's fine. She's not sustainable. He's not sustainable. She's fine. Jug Daddy, notice how fast we're going through this? Uh, Greg has always got tier. JJ's fine. She's fine. Uh, Jugs is a global character. He's at least as good as JJ. Kingpin is a city character, but sucks. Killmonger is actually a really good solo global character. Uh, but you do need... S eh, he'll be there. Uh, Kitty Pride goes in the same conversation as these idiots. Korath sucks. All the Kree minions. So the Kree minions, actually, all the Kree are, like, fine options if you're poor. Uh, Loki is maybe here for, like, survivability. Wherever Hand Sentry is, Loki is. Uh, but you really need a team to protect. And he gets a little bit more value if you start using good characters. Uh, Karnak sucks in everything. Someone's gonna tell me Longshot is worth investing in. So I'll put him there and then not question it. But, like, I don't even think that's kind of accurate. Luke Cage. Magneto is for a global fight. He's good, but he's very slow. So we'll put him here. Mantis is actually a very good healer for Cosmic. I'll even go so far as to put her like here. Like on a team that needs survivability, she does a great job if you don't have any other option. Uh M'Baku is dog shit. Every Merc is always dog shit. Even this fake Merc. Minerva is constantly one of the best characters for raids. Sinister is uh, close. You can get a really good comp out of him for global. Uh, to be fair, I use him all the time. I just don't think he's the best in raids. I don't think you always have a good clone target, but he's really good. I think you build the team right, you get a good value out of him. You're usable. Uh, you're among the top. You single-handedly make... Like, most of the city nodes, amazing. Uh, sure, you're not that great. Namor is useless everywhere. Useless everywhere. Acceptable. Uh, for global, I still use the Fury Shield team for global. Um, so he's still fine. As the dog shit tier list for global Greek raid uh, alpha. Uh, garbage. Not garbage. Garbage, garbage. Regular Phoenix. You could use her to kill a node if you need to, but she's not great. She's as good as Phoenix, if not better. Punisher is a good character. Based on his team. Ah. Quake sucks. Pyro sucks. Proxima's always a good character. Uh, Red Guardian is actually fine. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Uh, Red Skull gets questionable value for global. Garbage. City character. Cosmic. Ronin's actually really good in Cosmic. With the right kind of team setup and the right investment. Sabretooth sucks. Scarlet Witch sucks. Scientist Supreme is wherever Graviton is. Which I think I put him here. These two work really well together. Uh, on with global nodes, especially if you can keep them up. Shatterstar is global, so fuck them. Scream gets a little bit, uh, more. 
Oh, I'm sorry for those who don't know how I do tier lists. Your opinion is irrelevant. I don't care. For those who are unaware, because the, all tier lists are bullshit. Everyone who does tier lists is an idiot, myself included, and everybody who looks at tier lists for advice uh, are ignorant of that of the fact. So I just do garbage tier lists because it doesn't matter. Um, so let's see. She-Hulk, I don't like her, so fuck her. Uh, Rocket's useless. The shield characters are okay. Let's see. All the shield characters are fine. They work together, but only together. Scream, we skipped before. She's good. Uh, Shocker, get fucked. Shuri is phenomenal in global uh, on her own. Sif is whatever. Actually, no joke, Squirrel Girl is truly phenomenal in raids. Uh, Star Lord is okay in cosmic. Storm is just a really good raid character in general. Uh, Swarm ain't shit. Strife is fine with the right comp. Stature is, uh, meh. Taskmaster is global. So meh. Thing ain't shit. Thor's actually potentially awesome. Symbiote Spider-Man, duh. Actual Spider-Man. Uh, actual Spider-Man is like an option. Toad ain't shit. Green Goblin is maybe garbage. Thanos is good. Uh, Cosmic. Thanos is great. Even if you're not using his team. Ultron minions. Shield security goes here. Miles is a very good character. Team dependent. Vision ain't shit. Did I miss anybody here? No. Uh, Vulture ain't shit. But he's a city character with a decent control. Ain't shit. Ain't shit. Ain't shit. Ain't shit. Uh, actually, surprisingly okay. Uh, surprisingly okay. Zemo is pretty good. Yo-Yo is amazing. Uh, Yona ain't shit. Ain't shit. Ain't shit. Here we go, guys. We did it. All this is dog shit pictures. So let's start from the beginning. With the way this is, just to recap, this is a uh, alpha re Greek raid tier list based on what characters uh, are amazing. Right? Uh, so for alpha raid, this doesn't matter. I don't give a fuck if you use aim to get through your Greek one. You are not important. You aren't doing stuff that matters. Like, I don't care. I don't absolutely, Ultron uh, is not, oh, I'm sorry, I missed Ultron. You're right, thanks. I mean, come on, he's great. Um, I don't care that a team at the true end game, a character with like 40 million investment is God tier and I was wrong. Like, I don't care. I don't respect your opinion because you shouldn't respect mine because tier lists don't mean anything. They're just stupid. But what I've done here is show you, in my opinion, which characters, if you worked on these characters right here, all these guys, if these were the only characters you had, you'd be able to do global lane, city lane, or cosmic lane, however it fucking works for you. So look, Anti-Venom, great overall character. Symbiote Spider-Man, great overall character. Venom, Screen, Carnage, if you got those two, they're great. That's it. We're done. We're talking. That's it. If you don't, these guys are okay. They're like a little bit lower. Beast, all of these ingredients. Jubilee is not here because I don't have the sprite for her yet. And Bishop isn't here. Bishop would be here, Jubilee would be here. Because Jubilee is amazing. The problem is, city, 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 okay? Cosmic, 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 okay. Global, global, global. Global. No, he's cosmic, sorry. You're gonna have global. What about Phoenix? She's uh somewhere down here. Like you could use her to nuke a node, but she's stupid to use in a fucking raid. 
So moving to these, these guys are guys that work better in conjunction with people up here, but don't work great on their own. These guys are just good characters that if you have, you can use. You don't have to worry about it. These guys are the same thing, but there's a specific rule to them. Uh, like, Hel like Mordo works really good if Hell is present. And uh, if you're constantly Greg's dying and giving himself energy. He works really good there. Uh, and that's great. She works really good with, like, Black Bolt. Uh, these two work good together. She's a phenomenal healer. Ronin at high investment is insanely good. Can't put Squirrel Girl here and not say anything? Why? She's amazing in City Lanes. If you don't have Symbiote Spider-Man, Squirrel Girl and Ms. Marvel will carry you through all of the City Lanes. She's amazing. I don't know why people hate Ms. Squirrel Girl so much. Like, she's a really good character in the game. Like, she's truly phenomenal. Um... No, she's... Her? She's great in this game mode. Uh, and then we have bees. These are characters like, hey, do what you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can do worse than putting Black Panther in. These guys are like, okay, if by some chance you have to use these guys... Because he won't carry in... in he doesn't extend into Greek raids... As they go, as they become more difficult. Like, he doesn't become better in alpha. He actually diminishing returns real hard. Uh, and the investment you put in him doesn't generate the value. So, Rocket is all the way down here in trash to advise people that, like, you shouldn't worry. Like, don't try to work on any, any character in trash. Don't work on to be better at raids. Either use them for what you can, or work on better characters. If you really want, I'll make this sacrifice and say, sure, he could be useful. But I, I like, Rocket, your entire Guardians team needs to st Loki does not need to be higher, because you don't understand the tier list. And now that we're done with the tier list that doesn't matter, the Marvel Strike Force tier list. The one that nobody cares about. Let's see. Uh, T lad. Alpha all stars. Poopy sauce. I don't respect people who do tier lists. I don't respect myself, and you shouldn't either, because tier lists are stupid. So, are you ready for the real tier list? The one that you've all been waiting for. The ultimate condiment tier list! I've scoured the globe for minutes to determine things that people put on shit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is everything that people put on shit. There is peanut butter. I don't even know what hell of a good French onion dip is, but it's shit. This is oyster sauce, which is apparently a thing. And I only gagged for six minutes when I found out about it. There's Hershey fucking syrup here. There is everything. So let's start with Thousand Island dressing. Are you ready? I don't know if I got mint jelly. I'll check. I couldn't find mint jelly because like it only shows like a picture of the fucking like jelly. Okay, so let's start. Thousand Island dressing, right? Thousand Island dressing. This might be a me thing, but this shit is good. This is real good. You can put that on anything. You can put that on sandwiches. You can put that on salads. This is good. I don't think it's God tier, but this is good. A1 is almost S tier. A1 is like, if you ever fuck up a steak, but if you ever overcook a steak, you're like, all right, well, now you're slathered in A1 sauce. Let's go. Balsamic vinaigrette. Mwah. The versatility of this sauce is through the roof. 
Balsamic vinaigrette is, is, it's from the gods. It's nectar of the gods. You can marinate in it. You can put in salad. It is amazing. Now here is hickory barbecue sauce. If I'm reading that right, I think I am. Oh, honey barbecue sauce. Oh, we got it. Honey barbecue sauce, guys? You know where we sit on honey barbecue sauce. You know where we sit on honey barbecue. Honey barbecue sauce is among the best of all sauces, right? This right here is chunky blue cheese. I'll use it. Oh yeah, it's all sugar. Everything here is dog shit. Boom Boom Sauce. Does anyone know about Boom Boom Sauce? Does anyone know about Boom Boom Sauce? Okay. But there's a re Boom Boom Sauce is the reason I created the weird tier. It's like... It's like... Yeah, exactly. It's like a sweet and sour sauce, but mayonnaise-y. It's like if you took mayonnaise and McDonald's sweet and sour and put it together. It's not the worst thing, but you definitely don't want it. Like if they offer it, it's like, uh, it's, it's like, you know, you make Chipotle mayo. If you did that with weirder shit, isn't it ranch and sweet chili? Kind of like it's so many weird things that it gets in. So we're giving it weird. If you've ever heard of it, go for it. But it's, it's great with fried shrimp. Yeah, but so is like, Tartar, tartar sauce, which is like, I wouldn't put tartar sauce or tartar, however it's pronounced. I wouldn't put that. Uh, no, I think tartar is the ahi and tartar is the sauce. Um, I wouldn't put tartar sauce on like chicken nuggets, but I would absolutely put it on any fish or shrimp. So it's there. This is uh, melted cheese. Now, I, I just put a generic melted cheese on here. Uh, melted cheese is an S tier. Like, you can melt cheese on anything. That's it. Just melted cheese is among the top of everything. It doesn't, no, it's not specifically Tostitos. It's just melted cheese. There's no like generic melted cheese. So it's just that. Uh, this is Hershey's OG chocolate syrup. It's chocolate syrup. Like you fucking, it's chocolate syrup, guys. This is cocktail sauce. Since its versatility does not extend into the level that, like, some of the other ones do. Like, it's literally shrimp or nothing, unless you're a terrorist. Like, eh, I think this is cocktail sauce. It might... Yeah, it's cocktail sauce. It's got to go in, like, the... Eh, that's where it is. This is creamy ranch right here. Creamy... Oh, no, it's creamy blue cheese. I'm sorry. I believe ranch is somewhere else. It, it, it just cuts stuff off. Nope, this is ranch. This is ranch. Sorry, dude. Ranch is like the emergency uh, dressing. Like you use it like for wings because you didn't have good sauce. Oh, okay. Then, okay. Then I'm sorry. This isn't ranch. If the Hidden Valley Ranch is here. Yeah. Then this is creamy uh, blue cheese, which is the same as that. So they're the same. I'm sorry. They're the same. Creamy and chunky are the same. I will do ranch. Ranch is not great. It's good. It's not versatile, but it's okay. It's actually better when you combine it with other stuff. It comes out of sauce. It's a. It's not like it's a dip. Um, Frank's Red Hot. I put that shit on everything. Country French mustard. Mustard. Do I like ranch on pizza? No. Mustard. Amazing. Uh, I don't know what this is because I was Googling potatoes. So I'm just going to assume uh, all mustard is amazing. There is no bad mustard. Uh, I don't think so. This is either hummus or mashed potatoes. 
And if either, if it's hummus or mashed potatoes, I still want to put it on everything. This is stupid. Tear whisks are dog shit. Let's keep going. Garlic Parmesan? I'm Italian. That goes there. Garlic sauce from Papa John's? Get out of here. Garbage. This is just... All this is is lube for your intestines. All this does is make your butthole fire poop at a watery, liquidy pace that is beyond terror. This is just gravy. And gravy is almost amazing. Gra gravy. Like, you tell me you ain't putting gravy on shit when you go to, like, a... a ah, like, oh, gravy? Yeah, put it on everything. Macaroni and cheese and gravy? Hell yeah! Let's do it! Gravy is almost... Almost perfect here. The problem is... I have a hard time putting gravy on something that's naturally sweet. Uh, this is Greek dressing. Greek dressing is okay. Yeah, poots. Yeah, but you could say poutine, and poutine was like a really good use of gravy. And then I could be like a banana split, and you'll be like, never mind. <laughs> to be fair, I would absolutely put cheese on a banana split and hot sauce on a banana split. Let's see what this is, because I can't read. Is it hoisin sauce? Oh, okay. I'm going to educate some people. If y'all don't know about hoisin sauce, it's going here because there's an amount you're supposed to use. And no one knows that amount, but if you use the correct amount once, it is the best flavor ever on everything ever. If you use too much, you die. If you use too little, congratulations, it tastes like nothing. Hoisin sauce is 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 amazing but it's it's fickle so we're giving it an a we're giving it an a with the potential of being the best this is honey mustard i know i'm gonna get some some shade for this one i think honey mustard is as close to the best topping you could put on something but there are two honey mustards there are two. There is honey mustard, and then there is mustard honey. Honey mustard is good. Mustard honey is amazing. So we're going to average them out. We're going to give mustard honey here. We're going to give... And here, we're going to average them out. Honey mustard is a good dipping sauce. It's a good condiment. You could do what you want with it. It's dope. What's up, Radabing? This is horseradish. Y'all could fight me all you want. I will put this shit on everything. I will put it next to ice cream. I will let my ice cream smell the horseradish. Horseradish is fire. It is so good. I'm giving ketchup a B. So many, and I know I'm going to get shit for this one. I hate ketchup. I understand that everybody else uses ketchup. But be clear. Do you, If you had a choice of literally anything of these or ketchup, are you going to pick ketchup? Like, isn't ketchup the default? Ketchup isn't everything I love. It's not. I don't love barbecue sauce. I just will eat them. It's also, ketchup is in none of the ingredients I put up here except probably the honey barbecue. I don't like ketchup, but if ketchup is on something, I will eat it. I think ketchup is a default, and because it's a default, I don't think it could possibly be a higher or lower tier. So I don't like it, I wanna give it trash tier, but it's a default ingredient. When you think, hey, what do I put on this burger? Hey, what do I put on fries? What you think is ketchup. So ketchup is the middle ground. It's right here. Lemon and lime juice. Or like, not necessarily the juice, but like squeezing lemon and lime on stuff. To me, it's good for pork. It's good for um, uh, seafood. But it's not good for meat. And it's not good for, for chicken. Like carne. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and call this trash. Because how good it is on some things does not make up for how fucking garbage it. Yeah, you could, like, lemon juice on... You ever squeeze a... You ever make a pork katsu and then squeeze lemon or lime over it? It's delicious. 
Uh, Aunt Jemima syrup is the best. Mayonnaise is good. McDonald's sweet and sour sauce is the greatest of all sauces. Sweet and sour sauce in general, or like whatever you call it. Like it, it like there's plenty of different sweet and sour sauces. Sometimes they call them like some generic, like what's the, what does Chick-fil-A call them? It's not duck sauce. Duck sauce is sweet. There's no sour in duck sauce. Um, but sweet and sour, what is, oh God. I forgot what it's called. Polynesian sauce. Yeah, like whatever. This is great. Uh, Miracle Whip is weird because you know it's supposed to be mayonnaise, but it's not mayonnaise. And why is it not mayonnaise when mayonnaise exists? We have mayonnaise. Why is Miracle Whip exist? I don't understand. It scares me. I don't like change. This is salsa, like straight up salsa. Salsa is great, but not amazing. Uh, I don't have Mrs. Butherworth. I'm just talking about maple syrup, dude. Like, just maple syrup in general is dope. Uh, extra virgin olive oil. So, I don't know why people would use this as a topping. It's usually something you prepare with. You drizzle over a salad. So, I'm giving it a, a like, weird tier because I don't want to put oil on something I'm eating. I want to cook with oil. Uh, that's fine. Anything with French onion is dope. So, this is dip. You can spread this shit on things. I got a, I got garlic butter in like a fucking vat in my fridge right now. And Matt will confirm. And I just put garlic butter on shit. Anything that's normally a dip is that could also be a spread works. Oyster sauce is like hoisin sauce. But like from a dimension where like things go nuts. Uh, It's weird. You love it or you hate it, and there's nobody who's like, ooh, that's interesting. No, 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 no. You love it or you hate it. Uh, peanut butter as a condiment. So let's think this through. Is there anything you would dip peanut butter in? I could think of a couple things. Uh, notice I don't have Nutella here. The reason why is because I will put peanut butter on a sandwich a lot, and Nutella I will just face fuck like Pooh Bear. So I don't understand it. Uh, I think peanut butter is an interesting condiment, but I think it's weird. Peanut butter and pretzels, it's weird. Peanut butter goes on every apples, yeah. But it's weird, man. Weird. Weird. This is pico de gallo. For those of you who are white, uh, pico de gallo is like what would happen if salsa was made properly. Pico de Gallo goes on anything and makes it better. Pico de Gallo is amazing. If you've ever been to a Chili's or a Chevy's, they have sold you salsa and called it Pico de Gallo. They are lying to you, sir. Pico de Gallo changes a garbage meal of quesadillas into the greatest thing you've ever eaten. You can also replace quesadilla with meat. Cheese, chicken, vegetables, anything. Pico de Gallo is amazing. If you've never had it, I will find a place near you to get you some good ones. It is so good. Uh, this is sweet relish because I don't have, I don't believe I, I found uh, like salty relish. Uh, relish is hit or miss for me. So I'm gonna let you guys make this decision. Where do you think relish lands guys? B, trash, A, B. Trash. I see a lot of Bs here. We'll give it a B. I won't go out of my way to buy it, but if it's there, I'll put it on. You know what I mean? That sounds like a B, right? Oh, these aren't rated based on there. They're just in the tiers. Uh, Russian dressing. So Russian dressing sucks on salad, but surprisingly dope on like sandwiches. Have you ever had Russian dressing on salad? Weirdest dressing for salads, top tier. Hey guys, none of this matters. This is a stupid tier list. There's no rating system. See, look. 
There's no order. Here. It's okay. It's none of this is real. Sauerkraut sucks. There's like one thing you could put sauerkraut on. Or you're German and everything gets... And, or everything is sauerkraut and you put other stuff on it. Uh, this is sesame oil. Uh, sesame oil is the nectar of the gods. Uh, sour cream is amazing. Uh, you could cook with it. You could mix with it. You could take any sauce and mix it with sour cream and somehow get more of that sauce. It's like a cheat code. It's like the Al it's the philosopher's stone. Like it's it's literally the philosopher's stone. Like I'm gonna make alchemy, and then you just get better versions of stuff. Sour cream is amazing. Uh, this is soy sauce. Oh, way up here. Actually, I might even make an argument that sesame oil is not is my opinion of good, but soy sauce is just clearly amazing. Sriracha. If I could create a better tier. If I could create a new tier called the one above all, it would be Sriracha. But that's cheating. And it's what I find is very important, everybody. It's very important for consistency in your useless, stupid things that don't matter and based on opinion. So consistency is important. Sriracha is phenomenal. Uh, this is Hershey's strawberry syrup. Anything flavored like strawberry is weird to me. So it goes there. Tabasco is not as good as uh, Frank's Red Hot. But it is okay. Flavored Tabascos are phenomenal. If you ever had like a smokehouse Tabasco, those are really good. Uh, but this is just regular Tabasco sauce. This is teriyaki sauce. Phenomenal. Uh, this is uh, random ass hot sauce. If you have Texas Pete's. I don't know if anyone's ever had it before. But it's crazy. Here's yum yum sauce. Also crazy. Worst to sear sauce. Guys. This goes on everything I eat. This is amazing. Uh, zesty Italian, it's actually okay. Italian dressing is like the most okayest of dressings. Where do you guys think I'm putting Ready Whip? Yum yum sauce, it's weird. This is not a bad or good, this is just weird. Worcester? You have next to Worcester? Are you telling me that Worcester is not pronounced Worcester and this is not pronounced Worcestershire? Just making sure, because I'll call my uncle who lives in Worcester. <laughs> and we'll have this conversation again on phone. <laughs> uh, so where do y'all think that I'm putting ready with? Yum yum is weird. You got it. Worcester. Whipped cream. Goes on everything and nothing. Of all of the toppings here, which one are you not going to feel like a craven madman for eating a Like, okay, pe peanut butter, maybe. If you got a handful of ketchup and ate it, people would commit you. If you got a handful of, if you poured cheese into your hand, cheese sauce into your hand and ate it, Gravy, maybe chocolate syrup. Maybe you can shoot chocolate syrup into your mouth directly. Maybe, maybe, if you are racing to diabetes endgame. Everything else works better with something. Whipped cream does nothing to anything you put it on. Do you want whipped cream and pie? Congratulations, you're gonna taste pie and you're gonna taste whipped cream. Whipped cream goes <laughs> done. Whipped cream is the shit. Whipped cream is amazing. So, here we are, everybody. Let's save and download. T-Lad. Yummy. Yum. Sau. Uh, I spelled sauce wrong. Sauce. There we go. Here we are, everybody. This is the Yummy Yum Sauce tier list. The end of this video. Thank you guys so much for being a part of Tier Lists or Dog Shit. It is literally my favorite part of the week. As a reminder of everybody, if you respect the information 
that shows up in a tier list. It says more about your inability to think than anybody else's. Tier lists are dog shit, people who make them are dog shit, and people who rely on them for growth in a video game are also dog shit. Have a good night, have a great day. I've been Tony Scongeli, and Jesus, guys, I will catch you later.